what is draw in chess how many different types of draws are there in chess these are the questions you might be having if you have watched the first second and third videos of this series so if you are beginner or new to the game of chess then this will be the fourth video in this series of how to play chess for beginners in 11 steps hello friends i'm utpal sasane and you are watching utpal chess before we start if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to my channel utpal chess and do like and share the video so without wasting any more time let's start the video so we have seen what is check and what is checkmate okay now we will see what is draw that means draw in chess there are different types of draws in chess and we will see one by one all the draws and you will understand how can a chess game be ended in a draw there are different types of draws in chess some of the main draws are draw by insufficient mating material draw by stalemate draw by the 50 move rule draw by three fold repetition and draw by mutual agreement there is a draw by perpetual check as well which consist of uh, this 50 more rule or three fold repetition there are two more different draws which are decided by the arbiter the 75 more rule and the five fold repetition whatever draw you make on the board it will be a tie match tie match means you get half point the opponent get half or you both get same points this is a draw by insufficient mating material so we will start seeing these kind of draws okay different types of draws so we have this position now on the board and it's looking like see a white is winning but i told you why is it the draw because even if uh, this bishop goes here, it's not going to give a check to this king. That's the big problem. Okay, if he goes here, suppose, what can you do? How do you do check? Okay, you cannot uh, give attack on the king like this. So the bishop has to give check from here or from here. But you go anywhere, okay, it's not going to be checkmate. Let's put it here. Is it a checkmate? The answer is no. The king can move somewhere here or here. That's the problem. And the other side, of course, you can't go because uh, you don't have a support. You can just take it. So you can't do anything even if you have these two pieces on the board because they are not sufficient enough. So what is the uh, real reason? Why is it not a checkmate is given here? See? Draw by insufficient mating button. And number two draw you can see is uh, draw by stalemate. Okay, if you make stalemate, it's a draw. So this is the position where black has just played king to f8. Okay. And it is white's turn. Now white can win very easily here. White can play either queen e7. Okay. It's a check. Or queen f7. Or queen f7. There are so or, many Or checks. queen g8. Queen g8 also. Yes. Okay. Um, so many. Even queen f6. No. F6. No, it is not a checkmate. See, so this, this is the difference. So this is not a checkmate. So you have to understand what is checkmate, what is stalemate. And one more thing. Yes, uh, so this is not a checkmate. Okay, but at least this is not a stalemate. He can move here. But if you see what happened in the game, uh, white made a big mistake. White has allowed to make a stalemate. Like he made stalemate here. This one. White played this move. Okay, uh, so bishop goes, bishop b5, now black wants to play. Now you might be thinking, yes, it cannot be a statement as there are some pawns on the board, but if you see clearly, uh, then you will understand all the pawns are blocked. So even if there are some pieces on the board, it can be a statement. And here, if you see, now all these squares of this king are covered, controlled. And the king can't go anywhere. And the problem here for white, white has not given a check. So it is a stalemate. So this is one of the stalemate. I wanted to show you that. This is the example of stalemate. So you should know this. 
what is stable. So this was a big mistake White made. White should just finish the game like this, and it is a checkmate. There are so many different checkmates we have seen, and uh, yes, this was the uh, example. This was an example of statement. We have to be careful whenever the position is like this. When you have so many pieces on the board and the opponent has only king and few things are uh, like you know blocked. And that time, if the king is in the corner or side, especially that time, you have to be careful. You should not just play very carelessly or without thinking. Okay, two things you have to understand. One that there should be a check. If you give a check, it cannot be a, a statement. Like I showed you, this is a checkmate. Okay, and here you are given a check. Okay, now this one is a check. Now this is not a checkmate, but at least it is not a statement. He can move. Opponent can move. So it is okay. So that's why now, it is okay. Seven is now, a check. Ha. Queen e seven is a checkmate. That is okay. I was just telling. So if you give check, there is no problem. But if you don't give a check and you play something, there are more chances that the statement can happen. You have to be careful in this kind of situation. Some of the students they they play, you know, they just like to make two, three, four queens, and then they forget that the queen can control so many squares, and there are more chances of making a statement. So it's not a good idea. If you have one queen and one rook, you can just finish the game with them. Uh, as early as possible, it is okay. Uh, you can just do that uh, ladder mate and try to finish it like that. Don't just uh, for fun if you do that. If you're in a good tournament, if you play like that, it can be a statement and you can lose half point unnecessarily. So be careful. There are different draws uh, which are written here. If you see the block. There are like you know 50 consecutive moves have been played where neither player has moved a pawn or captured a piece. Then also it can be a draw. Many beginners they have this doubt that uh, they say it is 16 moves or uh, 15 moves or 30 moves, whatever like number they they just say like that that this is only 10 moves or whatever. There are so many misconceptions, but it is actually 50, 5, 0 moves. And that's not like, you know, white move, one move, uh, then you count one, then black play something, you count two, then again white three. No, it's not like that. It is when white plays something and black plays something, then it is considered as one full move, one move. Then again, white move, black move, then it is two. So like that, 50 moves. Okay, you have to calculate these 50 more whites blacks one then again whites black then two then whites black three like that 50 moves uh, play the same moves again and again three times if you repeat the position it is called as a uh, three fold repetition okay then it can be a draw then we have seen another draw of uh, Threefold repetition, same moves are of both the players place the same move again and again. So on the third move, when uh, you play something same move and opponent also repeat the same move, then at that time opponent can uh, claim that yes, it is a draw because these three moves are repeated from both the sides, not only one side, from both the sides. Three moves should be repeated. Then you can say yes, it is a draw. You can claim it. And then the arbiter will check whether it's really done and uh, he will see the score sheet and then he will declare it, uh, declare it as a draw or it's uh, not a draw. So he will check it. Okay, it's not like after two moves you can just uh, say yes, it is a draw. No, you have to write it and then they say, they see both the score sheet should be same. So we have seen now important things, how a chess game can be ended. Okay, it can be either white wins or black wins or it can be a draw as well so there are three different results which can happen yes checkmate uh, you can also win on time as well huh? the time factor is also there and the draws are also uh, related to time as well okay like uh, i will just give you one position uh, you have uh, like you know enough material on the board and if the opponent's time is over before then you can win the game, but uh, you don't have 
then you can win the game yes so it uh, yes it will be declared as you are the winner but suppose you don't have enough material like uh, mating material and uh, the opponent's time is over in that case what happens it can be a draw okay because uh, you are saying that okay see you are lost on time the opponent say saying okay you don't have enough material that mating material to defeat me on the board so that's why it can be a draw so this is also one more draw you have to understand or one more win it can be on the clock as well so you have to learn how to use the chess clock as well like perpetual checks are there okay you cannot stop the checks it can be a draw okay or also make a draw by agreement by the way so you can even you know uh, offer a draw to a player like suppose you are white and uh, you are playing playing now and uh, you play few more suppose you play like this and here on like you know in the beginning also okay if you think okay this is good player and you offer a draw suppose then the opponent the opponent can either accept the draw offer or if he wants to reject it then has to tell you that uh, i don't want to make a draw so he can reject the draw offer by saying no to you or he doesn't have to say anything he can just play okay if he plays this okay that means you can understand that he has rejected he doesn't have to say anything you can just play and that means he has rejected your offer now on the next move you play something okay now he wants to take the draw he cannot take the draw okay he cannot say you have offered me in the last move so i can take it now no now he has to offer you so he will say okay i offer you a draw and then he will play something and now it is up to you again that you want to take the draw or you don't want to take the draw suppose you are agreeing okay you are saying okay i am okay with that then you can say okay we will agree for that and you can say now it's a draw officially and then you can you have to uh, write the score in your score sheet okay 1 by 2 dash 1 by 2 or 0.5 dash 0.5 and then you have to sign uh, under that or you have to sign on the score sheet if you like this video then please like and share the video if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel utpal chess and hit the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming videos like this so that you will never miss any video if you have any questions suggestion then please write the comment below i'll try to answer those or i will try to make videos on those topics you can also check the blog the link is in the description below thanks and see you in the next video